Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be split into a couple of parts because I think it's just too long to have a film about something which I'm going to pack as much detail into. Uh, but I'm quite excited today because I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these for a while. This is the DeWalt mower, the two battery 18 volt, 36 volt you could say, mower. And it is an awesome bit of kit, but people's main problem with it is not the build and not how good it is at actually doing the job but really it's battery life and I think we're almost getting to the point where we can sort of eradicate that. If you look at something like this, this is the nine amp hour flex volt battery. Um, came with two of them for under 700 quid. So the machine, two nine amp hour batteries and a fast charger under 700 quid. I mean, I'd spend 700 quid on a petrol mower, but uh, there's ongoing costs. So you've got your petrol, you've got your oil, um, even things like maintenance is cut down massively with this because there's no sort of uh, liquids in it, which are essentially what causes a lot of the problems, leaking and corrosion and so on. Um, so you say you, you'll get that money back. My, my company will get that money back in a year easily. So, you know, there's 10 pounds of petrol probably we spend on mowing in higher summer per week. You know, it only takes a little while and you're already covering the cost of your mower. So if I get a couple of years out of this, I'll be super happy. But to get it for under 700 quid now with the better batteries is awesome. So let's stay tuned. Let's put it together. We're going to do an assembly today and an unboxing, see what we get. Have a real good sort of fiddle around and look at the quality. So stay tuned. All right, boys and girls, now you might notice on the box, uh, it's, it says it comes with the five amp hour. Now, I got this from DVS through eBay, which made it even cheaper than the store could do it. Um, and what they do is they take the model that they've got, be it a bare one or the one with the batteries in there, take them out, sell them with other bits. And if you've asked for the one with the upgraded lithium Ion, Dewalt, Flexvolt, blah, 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 blah. Then they just pack those in there instead. I have charged both of these up. You've got a battery indicator there. Now, what makes these special is the Flexvolt is a more efficient battery than the standard 18 volt. So essentially what happens is you get, I think it's a 43% extra power. So if you had a five amp hour Flexvolt, which they don't make, I don't believe, and you had a five amp hour XR uh, 18 volt, um, the flex volt one would last 43% more. Now, with two 5 amp hour batteries in this mower, people were saying you'd get 40 minutes if you were lucky um, out of the standard 18 volt ones. So that isn't good enough. That wouldn't cover, you know, a, a large garden. Um, it'd probably cover a large garden, but not some of the ones we do. So the idea of these, I could have went for the 12s, but they're so expensive, 240 pounds each for the 12s. These are on their own about 140. And when you buy them as a kit, they're so much more cheaper. So nine amp hour, that's nearly double the five amp. So the way I look at it is 40 minutes means you're gonna get more of 120, sorry, sorry, you're gonna get 80 minutes, an hour 20. Um, if it was double, it's not double, so that reduces it down a bit. So say if we just reduce it down by 20%, so eight minutes, bring that down by 20%, that gives us what, 74? Uh, minutes, what's that, 80? No, 64 minutes, right? But then it's it's 43% better. So that bumps us right up. We're looking hopefully around the sort of 100 minute mark. So 100 minutes is an hour and 40 minutes. Now that would probably get through a day of mowing because you don't mow the whole time. You're strimming and you're mowing. And we may do 10, we may do 10 gardens in a day, but they'll all be sort of stamp size ones. So I'm not too worried. And then if we do, one that's overgrown, we wouldn't be using this, we'd be using a classic petrol backup one. Um, this also came with the charger, the fast charger, which is fan cooled, which is really important because these things, when they're pumping heat into them, they can get really hot. Um, and it can actually charge a six amp hour flex volt, they say in about 40 to 60 minutes. So and now, again, using maths, nine amp hour, we're up to the sort of 100 minutes, so an hour and a half per battery. Now I do probably intend to buy a second one of these so that we can put them on and in a couple of hours, both of them are charged. But at the minute, it's fine. We can put them on, just swap them over. Or we can use the classic uh, charger, I believe, 
on those as well, it just takes a lot longer. Don't quote me on that. But this is for the 18 volt only's in the flex fold. I don't think the fast charger does the 12 and the 10 and so on, 10.8, whatever it is. Volts, it's only for the 18 volts and up. So that's them. And I would, I'm gonna try this out on a drill because it does actually add more power, there's more voltage. Uh, I don't know, but I seriously think it's gonna increase the overall power of it. And I'm just, because, oh yeah, these are little dust protectors. Stops you getting grime in the contacts there. Right, let's get a look at it. So yeah, you'll notice the box is already open. I wanted to charge it up, charge them up. We're unfortunately not able to um, do much today. I know I've got my Christmas t-shirt on because it is February and there is snow outside. Uh, so I felt Christmassy again. So, there's our grass bag. I think it's a 50 litre one. And the biggest problem that people have when doing a lot of mowing is these bars on the grass bag over time bend that way, which makes the uh, mower actually sit, the, the bag on the back of the mower sit like this, and this part starts scraping along the floor. The problem with that is this doesn't take the corrosion very well and it, all the stitching comes out and you've got big holes in the back of your bag. So, oh, just on previous mowers, I don't know how good this one is, it seems like the angle's a lot better, so maybe it'll be stronger, but if you, on no, normal wire mowers, bags, which is what they say, if they start to bend, just bend them back in place and make sure that the bag is out of the, off the ground um, to try and keep it a bit longer. This, this feels really tough. Um, I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. It's got the big DeWalt badge on the side, you spent the money, you want people to see it. Nice and soft though, but really durable. Guaranteed tough. And here we are, let's get rid of all of the packing securing. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, okay, and then we right. So, instructions. Oof, don't really need those, do we? But what I've got in here, is the starter key. I think it's just like a fuse, but without this, you can't start the mower. Uh, I don't think they're programmed. I could be wrong, but it is, yeah, you need this to start the mower. I guess it's a bit of a safety thing. Sorry about the shaky business. Uh, but it will not start without that. Let's try and get this out. So you've got two big handles on the front to help you move in and out with the back of your trailer or your van or whatever it may be. There's my invoice from DES, I can tell you exactly. £678.95. And that is the cheapest I could. If I was to buy the batteries, the charger and the bare unit, bare unit I could get for £359. Each battery was 140 I think. And then the charger itself, the fast charger is 40 odd pounds, so I wasn't going to get close, you know, to, it was, it was close, but how much of a convenient was it to get it all in one go? And there you are, nearly ready to rock. Doesn't even seem like it needs much more assembly. This lifts up, I just don't know how to do it yet. Let's have a look. So it folds like this deliberately so that you can tuck it into the back of a small van. These are commercial units. They're designed for commercially commercial use, um, as all DeWalt stuff is. They're aimed at the sort of commercial user rather than home user, but of course, a lot of home users buy them. That's, that's why they do so well. This is your battery compartment, so no big mower made out of aluminium and steel. This is all made out of reinforced plastic, seems really durable, and there's a lid there, which I like to think is pretty airtight, it's not, but pretty tight, to stop the grass from getting in. Pick our dust, pick our dust comes off, that slides in there. And the second one slides in there, fully charged. They just slot in like you do on the bottom of the drill, like that and you're ready to go. I don't know, there's still a bit of room in there, so maybe the, you, you know, the, I think the nine amperes are a little bit bigger than that, not massively. Sorry, the 12 amperes, those are the nine amperes. So maybe when they do even bigger ones, they'll still fit. That'll be interesting to see. So I have just figured out how to lift this up. There's a little knob there that you pull back, and there's another one there. But how can you do that at the same time Ah, pull and twist, pull and twist guys, 
and there you go. Now, if you want it to, oh, watch that cable, that's not good. It could just nip it off there. Keep that out of the way. You see what we're doing? And here's the knobs. Now we're twisting them back round and they lock it in place. Easy. Two positions by the looks for the height there. Keep that on the top one. On the back of here, let me get this around so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it here, but on the back of here is two battery indicators. So you don't have to get the batteries out and press the button or press the button while they're in there to see where your batteries are. Um, it will just tell you. It isn't weak, it is a steel deck I believe, so this bit is all made out of steel, is it? Yeah, the rest is made out of the plastic. Um, and I mean the worry is it's not strong enough, but as I said it's made for industrial use. I want to try and get it over there so that ah, you can just about see the handle now. And this is the key, key goes in the bottom here. And that is it. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Aha. Uh -huh. I've pressed right. So, I'll get this out of the way. I am going to actually start to back in the house. I'm going to get told off by the missus. Let me just try and get it to a position where you guys can see. Right, so on the handles. I'm going to turn this round. On the handle. Keys falling out, so obviously we'll push it in far enough. Right, there we go, we're locked in. This is your dead man's handle here. It doesn't do anything unless you press this start button here. Sorry about the screaming in the background. Whoa. slow stop which is good because you have to wait for the propellers to go down when you are changing the grass and you probably see here these are lit up now that it's received power and the key is in the ignition these are lit up so they're on now to tell me that there is power in there and you can watch those as you go and if you do run out of power on the flex vault you can just pop in a couple of vibe and power ones they'll do you 40 minutes until um, you know you're the ones of charged maybe I don't know how you want to play it but ideally in an ideal world you just have loads of batteries um, in here like they always do this is a diversion I think although it hasn't got a mulch hole so this would just be to stop debris coming out the back and it would fall down to the bottom again and just get pushed under when you go over but this is to stop grass coming out if you're just mulching. Um, so you put it in there. But of course we're not mulching, we're collecting because no one wants grass left on their lawns in England. America that might be fine because you can go out there every weekend and do it and just mulch it back into the ground. But not here. Right, two little hooks fit on the bar there. That fits on there. Lovely, all working absolutely perfect. And that is it. How much easier was that than some of the petrol ones I've done? I did recently have an Einhell um, mower, it was a really unique one, I did a video on it because it had a front centre wheel rather than two centre, two wheels and you could lock it or you could have it on uh, like a dolly wheel system, it was really good to turn and get in and out of corners but after a few weeks of using it, I'd already shot the video, the motor died and it just would not start, we had to strip it down, clean it all out, reassemble it and it would start again and then with a week it had done exactly the same thing so I cannot, I might put the view up but I cannot recommend them if they don't last. The problem is it was a really good mower, really good at collecting, really efficient and really good at getting in and out of corners and stuff like that. But if it's not going to do, if it's not going to stay alive, then why would I recommend it? So that concludes the video. The This is a bit of a monster and I cannot wait to use it, but it's probably no good as a snowblower. So in a couple of weeks, I'll get the next video up where we're probably doing a, a small grass trim, see how efficient it is, see how long battery life we've got after we've done a certain size garden will show you the overall size and how much it does to put it to the test. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button and <laughs> wait for part number two. Alice, what are you doing in the back of the camera? Sorry. Oh.